Welcome to Jis Crunch, where your home of entertainment, lifestyle, crazy news for your consumption. Please hit the subscribe button and press the bell so you don't miss out. Thank you for subscribing. Hey guys, you're welcome to Jis Crunch, and today I'll be giving you the inside info behind Airpiece firing majority of its staff. Yes, so we all know that COVID-19 has been really wicked and horrible, not purposely anyways, <laughs> to businesses, to organizations, to companies. Many people have lost their jobs. Many people are out of jobs. Many companies can't even make basic salaries. And then the worst hit industry has been the aviation industry, with most airports closed, most planes grounded. They're not flying anywhere because nobody wants to go anywhere. So one of the worst hit airlines, obviously, um, is one of Nigeria's leading airlines, Airpiece. As a result, the organization had to review their practices and the CEO, Alan Oyema, wrote to its pilots, that was in March, to talk about the new reality and telling them about the reasons for them having to do a pay cut. Now, even reviewing the pay cut, um, nobody had a pay cut below 30% and even the pay cut was according to the amount of salary that you're earning and even those earning below 150,000 did not get a pay cut. So this was some level of understanding. Throughout the pandemic as well, they had to continue this and now that planes are back, they wrote to their pilots as well, they are going to have to continue you know, this pay cut. Unfortunately, some people were understanding enough accepted while others refused a group of pilots wrote a a message to the ceo telling him about their refusal to accept that money and they said they want a refund of their pay cost from march like i don't know the logic behind that so anyways the, the ceo responded out of anger detailing all the different ways that the airline has been good to them. For example, he says that um, Airpiece is the only airline that has increased salaries of its staff in the past five years by 110%. He also said that the new reality is unrealistic and unfair for them to expect them to refund the money and also for them to think, keep expecting to be paid this amount of money. He gave instances, Airpiece flies about 110 10 flights per month and now they are flying about 28 flights like that's really low he also said that most of the passengers who are actually even booking tickets are not up to 40 percent of the normal load he also explained that the money they are earning right now cannot even cover the cost of even paying them that salary reduction and so they had to meet the bank to help them with fees so he does not he was really really pained and sad and he was like this is unfair for everything that they have done to them so what he said was rather than a group of people representing all the pilots he would prefer that they all explain to him individually so they created individual contracts individual legal you know documents allowing those who don't want it who want the refund to specify that and then those who you know want to be understanding and accept to accept and as a result, a majority of them did not accept this new fees, thinking that maybe it would change their mind or something because the pilots have refused to even fly. And unfortunately, the CEO was really pissed and he fired every single person that did not accept the change because he was pained about everything that happened. From the manner of conversations, from the way he wrote it, I believe that this pilot might have it, we think. Because it's not like it's coming from a place of wickedness. It's coming from a place of being handicapped as a business owner. And we hope that Airpiece can come back from this. We hope that the pilots review all of this and we wish them the very best. Keep praying for our aviation industry. We understand. And we keep praying for coronavirus to end. Please, you have done enough, eh? Alright guys, that's all for today. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. Thank you for the support.